Oh, what? What's up, everybody? It is True Sage, and of course, it is pronounced True Sage. This black YouTube has gotten even worse. Let me guys do not know this by now. I actually reacted to the prequel of this video before. You can go check it out only if you want to, though. But I've already commented that I knew that this side of YouTube existed. I call these niggas default niggas. I explained it in the last video. Default niggas, long story short. You know how like when you play a video game, you, you have the option to customize your character and make them very unique and vastly different than everyone else. They have the default option just to be like everyone else. They're just carbon copy clones of the next default niggas. No sort of originality, pretty much the exact same. I'm not that big of a fan of this side of YouTube. I do think they have funny moments, but it's just not meant for me. Anyways, though, I ain't gonna show you guys this time. Just hit the subscribe button after that. We can get straight into the video. My little sister got a BBL asking homeless people freaky questions. Little RT 20v1. This is actually getting. I'm not even gonna. I ain't gonna make it to this video, and this ain't even the video. Never mind. Come on. Out of hand. A few months ago, I dropped a video titled "The Problem with Black YouTube," and in that video, I basically and I reacted to that, I rightfully like so. Two types of black content creators: one kind cares about their content and what they actually put out on the internet, and the other kind basically just trend hops and spams the most horniest content possible. All yeah, pretty much default like niggas. one spamming YouTubers, and that video has gotten a lot of mixed feedback. You know, some people said that I was spitting in that video. A lot of people even gave me a lot of props for speaking up about this issue and then some yeah. people thought that what i was saying was kind of a, a, a little uncle ruckus here some people were even saying that i wasn't i guarantee the people who thought that's probably the same people who like to watch that sort of content for this sure because i speak proper and i sound white even though i mean i i'm pretty sure last time i checked i'm black i don't know y'all tell me i guess i gotta sound black as well i don't know how a black person is supposed to yeah sound i'm not even i'm not even gonna dump, deep dive into that topic i always hate it i got that shit going up too they were just like, matter of fact, one time I was streaming Omegle and somebody said, why are you talking white? Like, why, why are you doing that? And I just skipped. I right, listen. If someone says you're talking white, they're not even worth uh, responding back to. Just, just keep it pushing, buddy. Comments so, yeah. Below. Overall, there was a lot of mixed feedback with that video. And in today's video, I actually wanted to return to that topic of black YouTube once again. Because I've been seeing some things. And I'm not going to lie. It's low-key getting insane. Starting with these 20v1s. Now, these 20v1s, they were pretty popular like six, seven months ago. And they're still pretty popular till today. Hey, super random side note. When he get a haircut, how much I think his shit costs? Like, y'all think he's going like, to get his beard lined? Up because like when I'm from tight like whenever I get my hair cut that should be like thirty dollars sometimes because sometimes they ask me like I don't know but I'm just asking because like like do y'all think that like they charge him extra to line up his mustache and his beard or is it all in the same package deal because I'm fucking mad at the fact that that shit cost I'm sorry I got super distracted my bad y'all I'm sorry if you're unfamiliar with the twenty v one I mean basically it's one person versus this nigga showed up in a ski mask nigga showed up in a ski mask pretty much it now oh, like God. I said these twenty v ones are still popular till this day and nothing's really changed with these except for instead of using adults they are now using children as you guys. I'm not gonna stand up I'm gonna sit down I'm gonna remain seated for the rest of the video I'm not gonna stand up this is. Not the kids, man. Not the fucking kids, man. Who is this? Who is this grown ass fucking young thug looking nigga in the background? That is not a child. That is young thug. What the? That's little thug. That's big thug. Who the fuck is this? Oh my god, bro. I saw in the intro. Yes, there was a creator out here who created a 20v1 with little RT, the 10 year old rapper. If that is not insane, I thought he was I like at least 13. I no. Mm -hmm. Instead of using Lil RT as a side character like that one guy did, he's now upgraded to a main character, and they got this man speed dating children. But yeah, this is like ridiculous, the only changes bro. They've made with these 20v1s. Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. Still scamming their fans with the Cash App link in the description. You're not giving that 750 that buddy i'm telling you that right now 50 dollars and we already know how that goes cash app is not giving you 750 dollars for free that just doesn't make sense that's a terrible business move they're still using the exact same intros as one another and they're also still using the exact same profile pictures as one wow that's the same background that's the wow <laughs> oh my god Hey, man, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I know I was talking about, you know, default nigga this, default nigga that, carbon copy, but this is actually new heights. This is just new levels. Like, they didn't even try. I don't know who came first, but Sonny didn't even try. Some of the other shit. 
one That's another crazy. like there's literally zero creativity when it comes to these 20v1 tubers now one specific 20v1 that i really want to talk about right now because i th i feel like this is the elephant in the room is this little rt 20v1 a few weeks ago i was scrolling on oh. Twitter, just in my daily scroll and i see this poster 20 women versus Lil rt it's in atlanta and i also saw that reddit logo in the bottom right i don't know what reddit has to do with this but i just don't don't and put I thought it was a but then about a week ago i was scrolling through twitter again and i seen a clip from this 20v1 and when i tell you i was shocked hey hey what's your name tayden what's your favorite color blue Okay, all right, Nick. Now, this video is made by a YouTuber. By the oh, name all right, Mike dude. <laughs> all right. No Love Mar, Ryan with the sauce, all those cornball 20v1 tubers. A majority of his content just revolve around 20v1s. Like, if we look at his last 12 videos. What the hell? I no, I'm sorry. I I see that. I'm gonna. Nothing uh, else. But I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. This man was basically just doing anything. the find your matches and putting his friends on freaky blind dates. Like he was basically just doing this cornball content, pretty much. And I yep. guess 20 v ones got super boring, so he just had to spice it up by adding children to the mix. You may be thinking like, oh Cam, you might be overreacting. You know, maybe this 20 v one isn't that bad. No, it's exactly what you think. This is a children's dating show. This man literally has. Ah, she's on too much stomach for me. I ain't gonna hold you. This is not the TikTok Riz party. This is the YouTube Kids Riz. Oh, no. Nah, these is, kids are old. Nah, I'm not fucking with this one, man. Old. What was going through this man's head when he was thinking of this video? Man, 20v1s are getting dead, man. Let's add some children to this. Let's put some like, kids in it. <laughs> You niggas are sick. Also added boys to the mix to make it seem like Lil RT was there to find friends when we know the true intentions. Not only y'all niggas gonna copy off each other. And be default, but then you're gonna play me like I'm stupid. All right. Um. Of this, like I said, this is a children's dating show. This freaky ass cornball got a. Really I can tell by his beard he's freaky as shit. Lil RT. Is that not weird? I want to know what adults allowed their kids to get on this video. I genuinely want to know. Like this is actually like, insane. Bro. Oh. Shit. What? Oh. Hello? Hey, um, really quickly, for the video, what I saw was just so ridiculous. Like, you know that side of black YouTube? It's like kind of corny that always does like the super sexual 20v1 type stuff. Yeah. You just you know that they got bored and they moved on to children now? Oh my god, no. Yeah, I'm talking about like, they, they literally have a 20, like, you know, the little rapping kid, little RT, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You yeah. know, they they have a, a 20v1 with little RT. And the kids was dancing, and there was a grown man there with this weird, freaky beard. It looks like, and he was conducting it. And one of the little girls was dancing, and he talking about some ooh s h i t. Is that not weird? Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, is that not weird? Yeah, why? Why is that video still up? To I, be seen? I I don't know. I just I, I just wanted to express to somebody else. This is ridiculous. Like, bro, just let these kids be kids. Why oh, that's... Kids kids? <laughs> that is weird. Oh, my Especially God. Ones. I find it bro. so insane how much Lil RT has been used and abused and just exploited through the Living with Lil RT and K King C for 24 hours? Nigga, you a grown-ass man. Why the fuck are you living with two children? I'm sorry. Like, the, the fact y'all exploring this show. Let this fucking random Atlantean boy live his life, dog. Like, can this nigga... Well, not random, because he's little, he's little RT. But I mean random as far as, like, he's still a kid. Like, let the fucking kid live his goddamn life, bro. Goddamn community y'all need to stop using and abusing this kid for your own financial gain and just let him be a child bruh why do we need videos of Lil rt swiping dudes for his mom or assisting dudes he was swiping dude one. hold on Lil that's his mama being on a 20v1 mom or assisting dude. why do we need i blame you for this i blame you for everything what what fucking kills the most hit the drink i blame you for it for all the i blame you i blame you for everything goddamn i blame you for every single fucking thing
videos yeah. of Lil RT swiping dudes for his mom or assisting dudes in a 20v1 or even Lil RT being on a 20v1. Nobody needs this content. What's crazy is at the end of this Lil RT 20v1, this man has the audacity to say, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all want to do another one or y'all just talk to me, chat. Let me know. Man, I just held the latest dating show for children. I ain't gonna hold you. If I'm Jalen Brown, I'd be mad as fuck this nigga with Zoom with me, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Man. I want another one. Make sure to tag your little cousin in the comment section. Tag little Timmy. Tag your little sister. Any kids, I want them all. Like, dog, read the <laughs> <Nobody> <laughs> That's wild to say. <laughs> Any kids, I want them all. Children's dating show. That's a wild this statement. Man turned off the entire comment section. This man probably got tons of hate for this. And I'm not gonna lie, this hate is justified. And if you thought that was bad, well, let me tell you that these 20v1s get even worse. Because there's actually this 20v1 with this rapper that goes by the name of Finesse Two Times. And it starts off as your average 20v1. Anything involving this nigga is gonna be. <laughs> but then halfway through, Finesse Two Times' son came in with them on the second this round. To basically just stick by his father's side while he's talking to these women. And the way that these women and Finesse Two Times talk right in front of this child is actually weird. It, it's it's genuinely disgusting. What was say, bro? Do you, not, do you stay hard or you get soft? That junk get soft. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but I'm gonna go for about 40 minutes for that journey for round two. You Got might that. not take 40 minutes with me. Cal. I'm just trying to see what's the freakiest shit a bitch ever did to you. Man, one time, right? On God, it's a bitch from Atlanta, cause she married now. On God, I had a bitch with eating that bitch, right? Yeah. Man, that bitch got off that bitch, started sucking my toe, cuz. If you spit my mouth right now, you gonna have to leave this home me right though since you said when you got out mess with some skinny girls right so what would you say the only reason why i can't get skinny girls out of my head no more right because because what one time right my i was hitting a bitch from the front right and my man she just got the square near mm -hmm. my head up I feel so all right i ain't gonna hold you bro we need to we need to pass a law well in order to have offspring and reproduce you have to take a test you have to score a certain amount right you also need to have uh, mental health checks to make sure that you're all mentally there. Because if not, this type of shit that happens, bro. This nigga child is just here, existing. Like, I I don't know if he even knows what's going on. I hope he doesn't know what's going on. Because if he does know what's going on, that's even worse. Um, Squirting in, what? My head up. I feel so bad for this kid because you can literally see it in his face. He's not trying to hear any of that. No child is trying to hear this freaky ass conversation. And why is his son even here? Coming from one of his own parents. This man's talking about how he be making girls squirt in front of his son. But when I was young, the only thing I knew that squirted was my squirt gun in the closet. Why the is squirtle. this man talking about how he Pokemon. Be making women squirt Pokemon. in front of his son? That's insane. If one of my parents were speaking freaky deaky right in front of me like this, the only option I'd have is to drive off of a cliff at 300 miles per hour in gta of course and if you thought uh -huh. this is disgusting, GTA, of hearing people talk about these sexual acts during these 20v1s what about them actually doing these sexual acts there's literally a 20v1 with the rapper jp and mid 20v1 no jp this man got that mw3 dome if you catch my drift basically he was just yapping it up with these girls and this girl was talking about how she's got that gawk gawk 3000 you know it goes crazy so you ever had to no gag reflex or no of course yeah. I've had several. Oh, I can show you better than I can tell you. And JP basically said that he needed proof of that gawk gawk, right? So they go to the back and this man starts. I'm not going to sit up on my chair. I... You know what? I'm just glad these are dotes. I'm mad that that's the bar. I'm mad that that's the standard. But here we are. Getting gawked off mid 20v1. Number one, this is disgusting, and I feel bad for this woman's parents, future kids, and anybody that associates with her. And number two, the fact that all these grown men are just standing around. Oh god, uh, y'all don't got no no other business to take care of. Slurped up. It's completely odd to me. These dudes literally look like some cheerleaders, bro. They're outside. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, JP, you're really getting. How is it? How is it possible right the shardy oh is slurping him down, but yet y'all still managed to, to be to be bigger well, eaters? Cause this is ridiculous. There was also this other 20v1 where this girl literally spit into one of the other contestants mouths to basically show how freaky she was no you don't gotta show it no don't no 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 you don't gotta show it no 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 don't show this you 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 hoes are disgusting you hoes are disgusting you hoes are disgusting and what the you know, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Like this, I, I really didn't know this was gonna be like this. I, this, yeah, this is gonna work. Um, yeah. He likes 
Oh my god. That clip almost made me throw up. I almost oh my I just stopped myself right there. Seeing that clip, it's it's disgusting. These 20v1s need to stop. Like, when are we gonna wrap these up? I feel like they've had their time. You Unfortunately. Know, 20v1s were cool at one point when the sidemen was doing them, when Jubilee was doing them. But do we really gotta continue to make these? You white room warriors need to stop. This kind of room warriors. <laughs> something else? Oh wait, we did think of something else. Pop the balloon. If you're Yeah, there, that's 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 balloon, new. Basically, it's like the new 20v1s. And how it works is a bunch of contestants line up with a balloon in their hand. And each round, a person comes out. And if a person with a balloon likes you, then they don't pop the balloon. But if they don't like you, then they pop the balloon and they explain why they popped it. Now, I will say, I did like pop the balloon. Because there are a lot of funny moments in there. Like when an ugly dude walks in and the whole room just sounds like the 4th of July. All right, so like, um, ladies, how y'all feeling? Really naked. naked. We wait the fuck. Like, all right, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. Is it was his reaction that made it funny? That was it. Then he said, "What the fuck?" <laughs> that was like, that was a dude who looked like right. a ninja turtle was just cooking all the women on there. Your name and age and why what the, the hell? What the fuck, nigga? Why is one of your arms bigger than you know what? I can tell this off of looking at you. What kind of man you are? I can tell by the way I just straight fit you and why your eyebrows raised up. How kind of man you are. Nigga, what the fuck? What the fuck? This nigga, what the fuck? Anyways. Brianna, 26. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoo? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. Oh, what? That was pretty oh. Funny, you know? There's some pretty funny moments with those. But now I feel like the format is just becoming way too overused. Why does everything have to involve balloon popping? The other day, I seen a dude playing Roblox? pop the balloon. In Roblox. Pop the balloon? And that's not even the craziest part. The craziest part is that they got the actual white room in Roblox as well. Like, bro, this you is motherfuckers. Really got the hand, <laughs> these white rooms need to be put to an end, dog. Whoever has a hold of these white rooms, they got to start charging more. They got to start charging like an arm and a leg rather than money. Because if thousand dollars an hour video in a white room i'm actually gonna flip especially these blind dates i seen a dude doing blind dating based blind off date baby based pictures. off of baby pictures oh yeah you know you niggas are sick is that not weird bro especially coming from these freaky ass so what are you supposed to do weirder. damn you know you sorry kind of bad I guess. Like, what, like, what are you supposed to say there are so many creative things you can do on YouTube, and you're telling me that blind dating based off baby pictures is the best you can think of? That is insane. What's crazy is this freakiness on black YouTube is also transitioning over to Twitch. And no, you know one thing no, don't corrupt Twitch, the Twitch. They could not give a singular F about freakiness on their platform. Twitch would let a woman put jelly beans up her booty hole if it meant that they were getting six prime subs by the end of that stream. Twitch Good could point. not care less. That being said, a little bit ago, Deshae Frost, a large black content creator, also former actor, was getting that MW3 dome live on stream for content. Let me tell you something. Oh, no, this nigga's sick. And then he's in a room, too. Let me tell you something, okay? They say Frost is a famous default nigga, right? But more specifically, not only is this Shay Frost a famous default nigga, he is also like, uh, 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 he's like the king of horny niggas. Like, all the horny nigga content that, that's made on YouTube, he, was well, Zeus is the Greek mythology, he is the horny niggas, right? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't watch this Shay Frost, but like, the content that I do run across, he's always surrounded by some sort of chick, right? Now, I'm, now I'm, I'm asking an actual genuine question. Does he ever like actually make content and like can pull in people without having some 10 out of 10 chick next to him? Like, what is he like? What kind of content does he do besides, you know, this shit? And this nigga standing in front. This is ridiculous. Imagine being her father seeing this shit. And what's crazy is this isn't even this man's first time because he's done it before. Ruby Heat. You who? Ruby Heat. Like Miami Heat. I'm Ruby. telling you, man. This is just. This is just. Uh, That's my stage name. Stage. Zeus the Greek mythology, man. Real, man. Zeus the Greek mythology, know. man. What's your real name? Bryson. That's what he is to horny niggas. Caitlin. Caitlin. Okay, cool. 
What is it with these dudes getting the dome midstream slash mid recording? Like, is the dome that necessary where you need to get it mid recording session or mid recording session, bro? This shit is crazy. You niggas are crazy, bro. What the fuck? Am I surprised that Deshay Frost is getting dome midstream? Not at all, because this is the same man that made a video about his little sister. My little sister Brooklyn got a BBL. Yeah, guy who made a video basically acting like he walked in on his mom creating freaky content yeah say, exploring your mom is wild obviously fake exploring your own mother is wild that is great it's so hella good though what bro what what the fuck is going on and the fact that your mom is actually in this fucking one piece this is why you told me to come mom you told me to come over here you told me to come over here you told me to come over here and get some yeah and this is clearly fake the freakiness from the shade diddy stops right there the shade diddy because this freakiness continues you got this man falling on a woman's butt on stream i'm telling you bro this nigga is the king of horn. He is the king of horn. I can't, I'm not gonna keep on you saying the N word because I may get, you know, man. Ah, why are you taking so long? Oh, wait, don't bite me hard. Nah, nah, nah. They're okay. gonna clip this, but fuck, I'm good, fuck. Ah! Oh, that bitch tastes good. You got this man recording a half naked woman running across the street, and then you also got this man forcefully humping a woman on Kai Sanat's stream. Fumble, fumble. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Yes, fumble. Yes, fumble. Yes, why is i ain't gonna hold you at some point it's kind of impressive like, you need to be neutered bro this man reminds me of one of those dogs that just hump everything why is he so horny bro <laughs> this man is the freakiest frog in the pond if absolutely had a, flower, had a bbl i'm convinced that deshay frost is crushing that in a heartbeat absolutely no ass. all that being said i find it insane how us as a black community have stooped to a new low in content creation where we're putting 10 year olds on dating shows getting dome on stream and scamming our audience with a fake cash app in every single video like this is just odd behavior and it's gotta stop what is the point of having little rt on a dating show who is this content even for and why does it have 43,000 likes and also the sexualization of all this content why does it always have to be freaky or why that side of youtube is, 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 is hard 24 like 7 many phenomenal black content creators out there but the ones that aren't phenomenal literally are just terrible but that's just my thoughts let me know what you guys think in the comment section below all that being said this is gonna wrap up the video uh, i don't really have much more to say yeah man zeus the greek mythology man that's all i gotta say if you got like this video hit the subscribe button does help me but it helps you too why well, cc content similar to this one if you guys did subscribe me i appreciate a lot if you guys didn't i guess you'll part ways. either way i'll go i'm out here you got to keep it easy and i'm gone peace